Hi guys, welcome back to a new vlog and today we have come to this historic city called Hastings and it's, it's a beautiful city like every nooks and corner of the city just shouts out history. So without any further ado, let's get started and let's see what all is there to explore in the city. Today we are in for a fantastic day trip to the historic city of Hastings. Just a two hour drive away from the hustle and bustle of London, Hastings is a place filled with charm, history and stunning views. So buckle up and let's explore the hidden gem together. Our day started off with an empty stomach. So our first stop was Sainsbury's. We grabbed some delicious small bites to fuel up for the exciting day ahead. Now let me take you through the heart of Hastings, its historic old town. As we wandered through the cobbled streets, it felt like we had stepped back in time. The architecture here is a mix of medieval and Georgian, giving the town a unique character. And let's not forget the quirky little shops that line these streets. From vintage boutiques to cozy cafes, the old town has something for everyone. You can pick up unique souvenirs or simply savor a cup of coffee while watching the world go by. Our group had different plans for the day, while some of our friends wanted to soak up the sun and relax at the beach, Abhishek and I were eager to explore more of the city. Hastings is famously known for its role in the Norman conquest of England. In 1066, the Battle of Hastings took place just a few miles from here. It was a pivotal moment in English history, as William the Conqueror defeated King Harold II, altering the course of the nation's history. You can still see echoes of this historic battle in the town today, from street names to murals commemorating the event. The charming narrow lanes that crisscross Hastings' old town are like a time machine, whisking you away to an ancient era. One of the delightful features that add to the character of Hastings' old town is the intricate network of staircases that wind their way through the heart of the historic city. These narrow lanes or stairs were once bustling with merchants, traders and sailors who added to the city's rich tapestry of history. The sense of timelessness in these streets makes Hastings a unique destination for anyone seeking to explore the past. When I look at some of these cottages, it looks like they are a bunch of friends physically supporting one another. The variety is incredible as well as the age. Some could be centuries apart and yet they form this perfect harmony with each other.
We then headed towards the West Hill top. At the top of the West Hill, we found ourselves in awe. On one side, we gazed at the quaint houses of Hastings and on the other, the vast expanse of the ocean. We sat there savoring the breathtaking panoramic view. The famous Hastings Castle is also on this hill. There are only very little of the remains left there. If you're interested, you can definitely give it a go. We then came to the Hastings Market. The market in Hastings is like stepping into a treasure trove of unique finds. It's a vibrant kaleidoscope of colors, sounds and aromas that fill the air. Taking this and also buying this one. From antique trinkets to retro clothing, you can uncover hidden gems that whisper stories of the past. After our market adventure, we made our way back to the beach. The beach was clean, not too crowded, but it had pebbles, which made walking barefoot a challenge. We decided to have a small picnic with pita pockets, salads and breaded chicken. And of course, we bought ice cream but ended up with a melted mess. Melted ice cream? As our day in Hastings was drawing to a close, we stumbled upon a beautiful antique shop. I couldn't resist and ended up buying a few unique items. I can't wait to show them to you when we get home. Wow! You like gingerbread? Yes. Have it, have it. Taste it and let me know how is it. Nice. It is like ginger. Yeah, I know. Is it hot? Is it warm? Or is it it's cold? It's warm. It is? Okay, come on. All in all, our day trip to Hastings was absolutely lovely. We are now on our way back and I'm helping Priyanshi with her coloring book. The city has left us with unforgettable memories and I highly recommend that you visit this beautiful city. So we got these three beautiful show pieces from that antique shop. So they are like so pretty, look at them. This one was my favorite, I just, just, look at this cute cat. And this one. So this gives real Bridgerton feels, right? She looks like Penelope Featherington. Thanks for joining me on this adventure and don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you enjoyed this vlog. Until next time, keep exploring and stay tuned for more exciting journeys.